The results of urine drug testing and medication for opioid use disorder programs can be a helpful tool in developing a therapeutic alliance. Unfortunately, the process of urine drug testing often becomes a source of tension between patients and staff. Many patients report urine drug testing as a humiliating process and expect punitive outcomes. Often, patients have prior experience of urine drug testing in workplace and forensic settings, where a hot urine can result in a loss of a job, dismissal from a housing program, or a return to prison. New MOUD providers may be unsure of how to approach conversations about urine drug testing results in a therapeutic manner. This scene provides an example of how a provider can address unexpected results of urine drug testing with their patient. Good morning. Thank you for coming in, Sarah. How can I help you today? Um, I, I just need my, my subs. Okay. Well, we are going to do that. But first, I wanted to check in about your urine sample from last week. Would that be okay? Um, I mean, how, how long is this going to take? Because, I mean, I, I, I got a ride and I've been here for like 20 minutes and he's got places to go and, um, you know. I hear you. I'm glad you got a ride today. It's pretty hot out there. This will just take a few minutes. You've been in our program for almost two months, right? Yeah, I mean, like, give or take, yeah. I know. Talking about urine drug screen results can be very awkward. I mean, it's, it's not awkward. It's just, um, you know, I, my, my urine can't come up hot because my PO, he's really tough and... I mean, he'll, he'll get really mad if, if something's in it. Okay. You know. Look, I'm really glad you brought that up. I want you to know, we do not share your urine results with your PO. Under any circumstances, we will never do that. You're not, you're not gonna... We gonna... feel very strongly that things about your health and things about stuff like probation should be kept completely separate. So, you, so you're not gonna send them my urine? We will absolutely not send them the urine. I remember last week, you said sometimes when you get together with your buddies on the weekend, you may do some coke. Well, I mean, that's just like, like once in a blue, you know. Okay, well, that goes along with what we see in your urine results. There's the buprenorphine, and the levels go along with what you told me, that you're taking it fairly regularly. I, I mean, I, I skip a, a day sometimes. Totally yeah. understandable. And for most patients, a few months into the program, we know you're not taking the subs every day. Mm -hmm. and we expect that, it's part of the process. Yeah. But I did want to talk about your urine because it did show cocaine, which we expected, mm -hmm. and it showed fentanyl. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Okay, look, you, you got the test wrong. Okay, look, I, I am done with that. I, I haven't done it since I can remember. No, look, I just, I'm not gonna get my subs now. Look, I'm not gonna, look, I, I, I need them, okay? I, I swear, I'm done it's with that. okay, you're still gonna get your subs, just like I said at the beginning. This doesn't change that. I swear. Okay, I, I, I didn't shoot up. I'm done with all that. It's okay. This is an important part of why we do the urine screens. It provides us with information. That's all. It just provides information. And sometimes it's information we wouldn't have otherwise. I know you're new to Philly. Mm -hmm. Have you heard anything about other drugs like coke or meth being cut with fentanyl? Not, well, I mean, yeah, just, I mean, I didn't think they would be in, like, everything. I mean, the... The guys I hang out with, they don't, they don't even touch dope. It's pretty scary, actually. It's really messed up. We see heroin and coke cut with fentanyl, all kinds of things. I know, you want to get out of here. And I still have to put your subscript in. But have you heard anything about fentanyl test strips? We have them in the clinic. The peer counselor can show you how to use them real quick. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. In this scene, Unexpected urine drug testing results led to a potentially life-saving conversation about adulterants in the unregulated drug supply using a harm reduction approach. Recognize that patients may have felt humiliated discussing urine drug screen results in the past and may be defensive. Here, the physician uses language that is familiar to the patient, like saying cut with as opposed to adulterated when referencing the drug supply. Additionally, they show the results to the patient directly, which helps to build trust and demystify the process. Other drug testing situations may require different conversations, but in general, you should be prepared to anticipate potential concerns of the patient and be ready to address them respectfully. Urine drug testing is one tool in promoting transparency and trust in the therapeutic relationship 
between providers and people with opioid use disorder.